Ah, yes, this is the right one. My camera's a little bit off, but <laughs> it's working, which it wasn't before. So happy about that. Um, I'll get it all set up. Basically, I am streaming right now because I kept talking myself out of it because things weren't perfect. And I know we're well, not supposed to do that. So I am trying it now. Um, I probably won't go very long. I just want to get my character set up and sort of talk about what we're doing here. But, uh, hello, Lee. Yes, unexpected, unscheduled, unexpected. It's that wild week between Christmas and New Year's where, you know, you could either just eat leftovers and play video games, or you could eat leftovers, play video games, and stream them. Those are the couple of things you have available to you. I don't know if there's anything else. There might be. I don't know. But, uh, Sean is here. Hello. Numbers Ninja is here. Time is meaningless. That's right, Urban Bohemian. That is definitely true. But yes, yeah, so many people who are a lot better at games than I am are streaming Baldur's Gate. And I've been wanting to do so. But I figured maybe, maybe I'll go through and um, have some fun with it, which is what games are for. But specifically me, I'm going to decide that everybody wants to be part of a Starian's band. And so, when I get Withers, they're all going to be bards. I'm going to try to keep it balanced without cheating. Like, no multi-class, but whenever you get the feats that allow you to borrow from different uh, classes, they're going to be doing that. So, we're going to try balanced. Because why not? I've been watching a lot of stuff on YouTube about um, people who are played. They, they people seem to talk more about an all bard thing than they do um, like play it or stream it or show it. Because I heard a lot of I've seen a lot of jokes about it on YouTube, but not actual streams. The one Baldur's Gate thing I found just had everybody, every bard, just playing music in the area and I'm not hearing any audio and neither are you I wonder why if you don't know my main streaming computer kind of bit the dust a couple of weeks ago and the timing was terrible because it was right before we were about to go out of town for the holidays so um, my very kind and generous husband took my hard drive and put it in his PC which is what I'm streaming on, which is great because it looks better than it does on my computer for sure. The problem is I had to unplug everything and re-plug in everything. And so apparently one thing that is not followed is the audio. So, uh, but all we hear are unhappy grunts and some squelches right now. I can just, you know, narrate for you more and more freak out. Body horror should have put a content warning, but if you're a Baldur's Gate fan, you probably know this wretchedness is coming. Numbers Ninja's PS5 just crashed? That is not good news. Yes, Numbers Ninja is downstairs playing on the PS5, and I'm upstairs playing on the PC. Oh, so fun fact. Um, I had a joke that I was going to write a children's book called Larry the Christmas Tapeworm. And I got um, Ursula Vernon, who is the new Hugo Award winner for Best Novel. Um, and also, she's won Hugos for uh, comics. Brilliant illustrator as well. I, in fact, I have one of my tattoos. was designed by her. Anyway, so I asked her to do this. And she did like a, a simple little book just a book cover it was all a joke it wasn't the i didn't write the book she didn't illustrate it but i asked her to make up a cover for me and she did and it was um it looked kind of like an earthworm with a santa hat on it and i'm like but ursula that's an earthworm and she wrote back you don't want me to draw a tapeworm and then she sent me a like a a, a massively blown up photograph of a tapeworm and I was like, you're right. You're absolutely right. I do not want to know 
yeah, we should not put a tapeworm on the cover of this fake children's book. So, um, whenever I see the beginning of Baldur's Gate and that little parasite with the multi mouths coming at you, I always think of Larry the Christmas tapeworm. Reset. Don't. No, don't need tutorials. I have, I have played this. I have not finished this game, but I have played it twice. I have one game going on my Steam Deck and one game going on the PS5. So I'm really good at Act 1, y'all. Really good at it. Okay, so. I don't want an origin character and I don't want a dirge. Okay. Also, I have not played with these UI, so it's going to take me a second. I know I want to be a bard, but I haven't decided what kind of um, race I want to be. If anybody could make a tapeworm cue to be Ursula, that's true, but she just decided to do an earthworm. She did, I don't think, she could make a cute tapeworm, I guess. I mean, you know, we were very close to writing where anglerfish porn, so... Ursula can do anything. I'm just along for the ride. I think I want to do a tiefling. Or maybe dragonborn. Dragonborn bard. Yeah. So one thing I found out today, I started watching the, um, I forget his name. Urban Bohemian might be able to help me out with it. Um, the voice actor for Astarian has been playing Baldur's Gate. If you want to catch up, you can look him up on YouTube. And I was watching the first one of that. And he mentioned the fun fact of all of these motion caps were him. This, this was all him. So, you know, talking about what kind of body language each race would present. It was really interesting. There's the Christmas tape where I won't worry about eating too many snickerdoodles this year. <laughs> oh, Primalia, the anglerfish story, it's still in... It, it's still not happened. It's its still in the idea stage. See, the problem is... Um, Ursula is quickly becoming kind of a big deal. And uh, she has multiple projects going on right now. She has given me her blessing to write it myself. And I might try to do that with, you know, her checking it every once in a while because she's the one who gets, she gets weirder than I do. And I try to be weird. I really do. But, um, yeah, it, the, 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 it was going to, it was going to be called Lure and it was about a, uh, super alpha dude billionaire who get who gets bit by a were angler fish? So every full moon he turns into the most s submissive, sad, really, male in the animal or fish kingdom. And there's an offshore casino owner who's just waiting for him to turn into a male on the full moon, and she will be a female on the full moon, and then she will absorb him as the very strange and sad fate of male anglerfish are happen. Are happen? Wow. Anyway, back to dragonborns. Neil Newburn, thank you, Urban Bohemian. Everybody follow Urban Bohemian. I, uh, <laughs> I haven't been streaming in a couple of weeks and I've lost all my etiquette. There we go. But yeah, the, so the, the it was going to be called Lure. Um, the hero was going to be a woman called a woman who was a were sperm whale. So um, that was that. So let's let's get our let's get our character dragon dragonborn here sub race. Now I know nothing about the dragonborn, so. I do know I have just met the gold weapons uh, merchant in Worms Crossing, and I don't know if there's any other game person NPC from this game that I like more than this person. The actual blacksmith is a complete and utter bastard. 
he's just an asshole and he's like whines that you talk to him and then he whines that he wants you to stop bothering him and go down and talk to the worthless clerk downstairs and you're thinking you're either going to find somebody who is lazy or you're going to find somebody who's unhappy and put upon and you've got this gold dragonborn down there just delighted to see you and delighted to sell to you and anything you buy she's just so happy and it's it's an awesome What are we thinking here? That is that is interesting. So so the dragonborns can have hair. Or is that part of their scales? I don't know. What dragonborn color should I use? Should I get rather? Brass is more pale green than I expected. I guess brass is kind of pale green. It's pretty though. Numbers Ninja thinks I should go with gold. Okay. Class. Well, we know that. That one's easy. There it is. Ta da! Got our cantrips, got our vicious mockery. If you guys have not heard the song um, Perception Check by Tom Carty, you should go and listen to it now. I'll still be here making a character when you get back. Just search for Perception Check. Um, it is it is prime. I mean, I've even used it in my podcast to talk about the structure of humor. It is such a brilliant song. Okay, I don't choose, I choose which cantrips I want to use. So, we got Vicious Mockery and Blade Ward. I kind of like Mage Hand. I found that very useful. Hey, Foreigner. I guess if Dragonborn have Memory Glance, they can have hair. Fair. Fair. I should have put content warnings on this and stuff, but... I almost never play things with content warnings, so I'm I'm not I'm not used to it. Fairy fire. Long strider's very useful. Bard is ultimately a support class. Animal friendship. I've never used Bane. See, I don't understand friend and charm person because as I understood it when I played D&D, which has not been in a very long time at a table, long, long time, long time. <laughs> but as I understand it is that people are nice to you when the spell is happening, but when they're, when the spell wears off, they're kind of pissed off that you messed with their mind. And I don't know if that's still true. I don't know if my GM was telling me wrong, but I always thought that feels like a, Short-term solution with a long-term uh, penalty there. But then there's speak with animals. Only four. Okay, well, we don't need to speak with animals right away. In easy difficulties, they don't get pissed off. Oh, they're more likely not to react well when it wears off. Yeah. All right, we got drum, flute, lute, lyre, and violin. Um, in vanilla D and D, run away before it wears off. Okay. Speaking with animals is the best part of the game. I'm sorry, Herb. What do I have to do? I I, I feel they're all similarly obnoxious. So if you have a suggestion, I will take it. And I know you, Herb, you're not a rando coming in to tell me how to play the game. But yeah, I will be giving everybody a different thing, but I don't... I, I've... In my other... Uh, one of my playthroughs where I am playing a barn, I have gone from the lute to... No, the lyre to uh, drum and back again. 
You have to take, oh, you have to take speak with animals, but you already knew that. Yes, definitely. I just didn't think I needed to right away and I could have another, maybe have another slot for that cantrip with a level up. I can't remember how many cantrip slots I get or spell slots I get, but I will take it. Don't worry. I will definitely take it. Uh, I haven't done the violin yet. Let's do that. Background. Now in my mind, I've got a, a kind of somebody who's been doing um, all sorts of, you know, wealthy person, wealthy noble who took a bunch of music classes. But um, the real problem is they've never suffered. And so all the beautiful songs about suffering, don't, they don't apply to them. And so they want to go out there and experience adventure and suffering in order to understand those songs. That's my, that's my concept for this character. A bard ensemble with all different instruments. Yes, that is my plan here. As soon as I get withers, everybody's going to become a bard. And everybody's going to get a different instrument. All right. Abilities. Okay, D&D &D people, I'm curious how you feel about this because it feels like these are all these are all spec to the character you want to play. Like I'm not going to get a do a bard and accidentally get a charisma of 8. Um but do you ever think maybe do you ever think <laughs> Saying this out loud is ridiculous. Do you ever, you know, yearn for the olden days when it was like 46 drop the lowest? Do you ever, do you ever care about that? And then, and then you have to apply the, the numbers. It was always interesting, you know, to have a character with your lowest needed stat as a five. Shauna still does that. Okay. Do you do that? Do you make your uh, players do that? I'm going to keep this the way it suggests. Dexterity and Charisma. Excellent. You insist on it. I still did that with some of my characters on D&D &D and Beyond. Okay. I did not know that, that most GMs still did that. That's cool. It's very warm in here. Happy winter. Okay. Yeah, next time I do this, the, the camera will be fixed. Make a pool of numbers instead of rolling for specific stats, though. Okay. For this video game, you'd have to be doing the challenge to let the stats land where they may, because the game isn't forgiving if you aren't good at what's expected. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do know that. I think those skill prof proficiencies work for um, my character. Maybe not, de maybe not deception. I don't think they're that world wise let's see what fits my character arcana arcana or religion i think yeah i'm gonna go for arcana Noble history or arcana, yeah. All right, edit appearance. <laughs> well, um, I go for more feminine body type, female. Go for female identity. I can't hear the voice, so. I don't know what I don't know what we're working with here. Can we change the voice with we get the magic mirror? Does anybody know? A lot of these look very similar. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, that's fancy.
Backgrounds give you proficiencies too, yes. The problem with the various modes mods for rolling is you eventually just end up doing an array point by with extra steps. That's fair. Now I'm going for the first one. So many different crests. Does anybody look at um, the tieflings and wonder how they sleep sometimes? I don't know. Is it just me? Oh, that's dramatic. This is like a water. Those are like fins. With nothing. No, no, no crest at all. You know, I don't know a lot about this, but I'm starting to wonder if we've got like a Sneetch's problem here. Because I don't know if the person without the crest would be like, you know, no stars upon thars kind of problem. I mean, just think, just the way we do things. Somebody like this shows up next to somebody like this. Who are you going to think is the person to talk to? Not even consciously. Just, wow, look at that big old crest. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, that looks like hair parted down the middle. That's not good. Alright, I think I'm going for this because it looks like my head's on fire. Also, don't know how I sleep, but whatever. Oh, my horns are not asymmetric. My horns are not symmetric. That That's... I'm like, Carlac. why do I only have one horn? Weird. Okay, now, I don't mess with this kind of facial role-playing uh, character stuff, simply because if I do, I end up <laughs> broke off the other so you can sleep. Yes, that that's that's a good one. Um, I, I, the more I do this, the more I mess with little details about the face, the weirder my character will look. And I, I just can't. But I do like, ooh! I do like messing with the colors. Kind of like the purple flare. Yeah, there we go. I won't hide clothes, but I am wondering, do they have memory glands? It's not important. I don't care. Okay. Really. All right. Anybody who knows me knows that I hate character names. I don't want to settle for Tav, but does anybody have any suggestions? I could go for just a symbol, like Prince, or the artist formerly known as. Yeah, I know it's important. Argon. Zinc, Argon. <laughs> I'll go for Zinc, Argon. Can I do two names? Yeah, there we go. Oh god, now we gotta do a Guardian. I can't... I know a lot of people love character design. Eventually I will get bored. So I'm probably gonna do a couple of randomizations and see what happens. Okay, well, that's pretty awesome. What 
one of the really interest like this game has so many amazing details. And if you haven't played as a shorter character, you may not know this, but your NPCs will adjust their eyes and their heads depending on who they're talking to. So, you know, if, if they're, if you're shorter than they are, they will look down and it's, it's just a really nice, tiny little detail. And the same for all the gnomes and halflings, but that, I guess, makes sense. Most people you'd be talking to, you have to look up to, but. Oh, yeah. Half-orc. Now we're talking. Oh, I didn't get any uh, tattoos or scars. Oh, well, I'll figure it out later. Just too good to use his feet? Or their feet? I'm going to have to ask him next time I see him, but I believe uh, either Numbers Ninja or my husband mentioned that uh, Charlie Strauss came up with the Githyanki. Like, he developed that race, apparently. Like Charlie Strauss is a science fiction fantasy writer from Scotland, so I know I'll see him in August, if not earlier. I have to ask him. You know, they're, they're, they're supposed to be grabbing people. That's just like, that's just being a dick. You know, so you want to capture people and infect their heads with your children. You don't have to tear down their towers too. And here come the Dragon Riders of Pern. Mind flayers are... Yeah, I know. They're going to mess up your town. They're going to tear your uh, towers down. I bet they burn libraries, too. I love this scene. Because you know that guy's just... He's waiting. He knows. He knows the dragon's coming. He's just, he's just falling. Just biding his time. We've got an ad break coming up, which I think is a, probably a pretty good thing. I'm doubting any uh, real Baldur's Gate fan is going to be missing any of this cutscene, because you will have seen it before. And uh, I'll let the ad start, and then... Um, Wait until it's over before the actual gameplay starts. I have yet to handle the ad breaks with a plum or grace or any of those fancy words. Yeah, Forerunner, I don't think you're, you're I don't think you're that off. You might have been thinking about mind flayers, but the Gith Yankee they're not real nice. I mean, whenever you've got one of those warlike races like Klingons or Gith Yankee, you wonder like surely there are disabled people or people who don't want to fight or poets among them. And I know we do meet, like, the scientist 
small spoiler, we meet a Get Yankee scientist. But I don't know. I just don't like it when they take one entire race and say they are like this. Now, whose side are the imps on? Or is this just because we went to Avernus? This is somewhat rhetorical because I know most of the people watching can't see this. Look, someone's got to do the cooking and write poems to their gods too. I know, Urban Boogie I know, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, do they, do they, you know, look down on these people? I don't know. Another bit of, um, just because we went to Avernus. Okay, that makes sense. It looks like we're back. I hope we're back. Um, right, and now I'm playing on a PC and things are different. There is no, there are no running around things. Oh, I'm gonna have to, it take me a second to figure out this camera. Okay. Sorry, I just haven't played this on a computer before. I assume this is over here in case I was just very awkward and ran into a fire or something, because I'm not injured yet. Poop that body. Nursery. This is the pool the thing came from. The parasite now writhing behind your eye. Not quite as problematic as all members of X non-planar race are evil, but yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. I tr there's there's also a s scene with a bunch of kobolds and they're almost completely drunk, like blackout drunk, and I'm thinking like these guys haven't done anything to me. I'm not gonna mess with them. I'm just gonna walk through. But no. One kobold wakes up and then suddenly it's a bloodbath. Their blood. And I'm like, guys, I did not... No quarrel with you. I had to go watch reception check again thanks to you. <laughs> oh, boy. How about we investigate? Yes, K. Kemi, I am uh, streaming Baldur's Gate for a little bit. Wow. My first roll, critical failure. It looks like a big bowl of crap. That's all I got. It's a big bowl of crap. Touch the big bowl of crap. I want an adventure, didn't I? No. Oh, no. Okay, now I know what it's for. Now I know what our little little shower here is for. I feel terrible whenever there's a dialogue choice. It's like you're smart for a hobgoblin. Wow. And I get... Okay. Well, I wanted to know what it was for. Is there anything else to loot in here? No? Okay. Again, please be patient with me. This whole... One hand for the camera and one hand for the... Clicking and moving is, is going to take a little while to get used to because I've been playing on console for so long. I can, I can add a controller, can't I? I'm a moron. All right, I've got, a, I've got a controller I can use for the next time. You've never actually played or watched Baldur's Gate before? Okay, Kimmy. I mean, I don't know if this is your kind of thing, but it's, this is an amazing game. Fire. Thank you. Thank you. The letting me know. This is... Don't go here. It's fire. Fire. Yeah. Oh, touch the thing. If you're just joining us, I am playing a dragonborn noble who realizes that none of the songs that they sing have anything to do with them, and therefore they must go out and have experiences and experience heartbreak and other sad things so that they will understand the sad songs. 
so my character is going to be rather naive and want to touch everything. By the way, more body horror. Look away if you need to. We have in brain stuff here. Fire bad. Tree pretty. I'm sorry, I should be narrating because you guys can't hear it. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Hey, at least I succeeded on a per perception check. Before they return, they return. Am I talking to a man or a brain? I think you're past the point of saving. You sound afraid. Why? Oh, yeah. Tell me what to do. I am totally naive. Remove us from this body. From this case, free us, please. Investigation. Touch. Yeah, the most viscera and the most... <laughs> <laughs> wow! I either roll 1s or 20s. That's, that's what I do. You notice edema, a swelling of the brain causing pressure where it strains against the shell of the skull. No, apparently that was a 20. I think they have a different different piece of art on the 20 and the 1. They like a person for their mind. They're pulsing, talking, oozing mind. Critical touchy. Alright. Gently prize the brain from the skull. Touch. Here we go again. Yeah, I thought it was a 1, 2. As well, I mean. Okay, that'll do. I'm really glad I'm not cursed with either 1s or 20s. That would make for a very interesting, yet possibly deadly game. There we go. That looked really, really gentle and used a lot of dexterity. The brain lifts from the skull, but you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. That does not seem like the character I'm playing. Spare the creature. I don't know this creature's bad. It's talking to me. You know, I'm thinking of that song that I heard one time about the... the sad little dog finding its master. And this looks like a sad little dog that found its master. Didn't even wash your hands either. I did, though, Herb. You know, I went and I touched the pool in the previous screen. So, I did wash my hands. In what? I don't know. We must go to the helm. The helm here needed. Uh, what should I... Oh, yes. Oh, friend. What is your name? Us. We are us. You got it. I'm... Let's go. Or as they say on perception check, let's fucking go. Nat 20, let's go. In go I didn't know what it was. Newborn. That, that, that body sure doesn't look happy, does it? Not even... <laughs> Again with the details. You know, they just gotta give us a character pick of half a head. Yeah, here we go. I seem to remember there was a loot somewhere up here. I don't know. Uh-oh, come on, us! Can you make it down on your own? Yes, you can. Okay, great. I didn't even know that was there. Um. Oh, there we go. Nope, out of the fire. Not in the fire. Yeah, I'm gonna have to set up a controller. This just will not do. Numbers Ninja, look, remind me tomorrow, because... I know I have one. I've got the old Stadia control. That's what it's called, right? It's not Stevia. That's Sweetener. But I've got the old Stadia controller. It's Lazel. Here to be awesome. Abomination. This is your end. Yo, wait, lady. Head throbs. Skin tingles. Visions rust past. A dragon's wing. A silver sword. A flash of your face. Seen through the strange woman's eyes. Hmm. 
You are no thrall. Vlacketh blesses me this day. Together we might survive. Yes, Vlacketh sent you a very naive dragonborn bard. You are lucky. <laughs> We're totally going to get out of this. Okay. And I really won't pressure you to become a bard too. Who are you? So blessed. Now that I will believe. My only chance is survival. What do you suggest? Oh, look! There are imps. Feeding on something. Find the helm, take control of the ship, blah, blah, blah. As for that thing, it will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. That's my friend. It is my new pet. Its name is Us. You can pet it if you want. Little baby demons. These are like uh, vampires in true blood. They just do not eat neatly. All right, here we go. Again, please be patient with me. New interface. First, of course, the most important thing in the world. Bardic inspiration. Oh yeah. Come on, Lazel. <laughs> I'm a musician, guys. Oh, I see. Time to play a sick chord. You know, Numbers Ninja, I don't know if anybody would have cared. What do we have? I got a punch, and I got, I, I got a, do I have a range attack? I guess I do. I have a crossbow. There. Pew! That's right. There's more where that's coming from. Putting together this song in my mind. How easy it is to kill imps. Not enough resources. Oh, well. And now we got us. Faithful. Yes, crossbows go pew in my world. Don't question me. And now Lazel. Oh, man. So close. You got a really long stick. Can you hit it? Yes, you can. Lazel's my new best friend. She's going to play the drums. She doesn't know that yet. Ah, what do I do? Okay, get rid of that. That's right. Now everybody's got a crossbow. Lazel, do you want a crossbow? How do I get my inventory? Okay, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Eh, who needs inventory? What are y'all chewing on? We got more bodies. More bodies to loot. To click on the body. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we looted that. Okay. We got another shower here, but I don't think we need it. Everybody's okay. Oh, no, wait. Loot the body. Loot the body. You didn't loot the body. Now we're talking. Now we got clothes and stuff. I really do need to find out where my inventory is. Um, my brain is like saying, just do the PlayStation thing. Do that shoulder button. Items. Nope. Nope. Why is everything difficult? Why is it so... It, it's... <clears throat> right now I'm in turn base. No. I ruined everything. Crud. Wait, exit... And, you know, I said I didn't need the tutorial. I apparently did need the tutorial. Nope, that's not it. Apparently I did need the tutorial just so I could see what the different uh, commands were. Or how this was different from the... Uh... 
Yeah, you jump over that body. It's gross. Oh, there's the arterial stuff to climb. This isn't gross at all. Try right, options to look at the controls. Options. I'm still down here. Did we ungroup or did I just not follow? Party view. Oh my god. This really is... This can't be that hard. If you're just joining us, I have played Baldur's Gate for many, many hours. I have not, unfortunately, played on the computer before, so the UI is still befuddling me. Why can't I find my inventory? What is so... Journal? Nope. That's all the things except for my inventory. Oh my god. Fine, fine. Time to touch more things. What do we have here? Touch. Oh, whoops. Machine made them hostile. <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't make them hostile. I just got here. Press I. Wow, Shauna. Gold star to you. Also kind of embarrassing, but thank you. See, I didn't trust that uh, I could do that because... Like the other things I'm used to, like moving with W-A-S-N-D, not working. Oh, come on, us. Years of Diablo. Ah, yes, Diablo. Candle? You were fighting me with a candle? I'm kind of sorry for you, man. Should have, like, looked around to find a rock or something. See, you'd think they would appreciate me waking them up from that weird cell thing they were in. I still am not carrying a weapon. Okay. Punch. Nope. That's right. Wow. Adventuring's easy. I'm learning all sorts of things. Alright. Did I touch all the things over here? I don't think I did. Touch. Come on, come over here, touch. Are we on turn-based again? No. Failed an arcana check. Succeeded an arcana check. Aggression, I guess that was the button I pushed. Critical fail an arcana check. That probably says search. Push the button, push that button. Already did, okay. Touch that. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Herbohemia. <laughs> Thank you. So, Lazelle, do you like, you know, drums? Or, you know, flutes? Touch. Hit it, of course. Oh. Fine. Touch, then look for a switch. Nope. Oh, well. I do believe... Boy, I sound southern. That there's somebody over here yelling. Yes. I'm glad I've played this before, else I'm not getting any of the audio cues. What's up? Hey! 
Can you play a lute? She seems like the sort of like drums. True. I need to know what music you play. I'll go look around. I just poked it. It's not going to work. You know, there's a lot of fire out here. I think you're better off in there, actually. Can you loot a play? I don't rightly know. I'm taking your key, lady. I don't know what it's for, but I'm taking it. How many hosts have these Gethic infected? Lots. Lots and lots. A dazed woman's trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice me. I wonder if she can play a lute. Ooh, something to touch. 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 As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Well, she changed. She woke up. Oh. 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 Wow. Changes the pull of a lever? How? If we're not purified, this may be our fate. Okay, first, you don't know it was the lever that did that. Correlation is not causation. It's not necessarily my fault. Two, do you know what purified means? Because that doesn't sound good. Take everything. Dang, mine. Ooh, health potions. Hey, what's up? Bard's thoughts. This would make for an epic album. It would make an epic album cover. Wow. It totally would. You know, I just realized this character would be a lot more interested in talking to all of the artists and art dealers you find in this game. Yeah, we'll, we'll come get you in a second, Shadowheart. We got gold key to use. All right. That was probably the long way around. Again, getting used to this. Insert the rune into the socket. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? I did it. You don't know it did that. Timing could have just been really unfortunate. I don't think it's my fault. I'll look a little closer if I can. Four. All right. I know all about this shit right here. I know that. Poking that button does something. That's what I've learned. I can even transform the occupant of the pod like what happened before. You put the rune to the pocket and you drink it all up. No, that's I'm <laughs> a coconut. That's something else, Shauna. Place my hand on the console. This day is going great. I have touched so many things and met so many people. It's, it is great. Discomfort fades, another sensation, connection, authority. Hmm. Not sure if you want to give somebody like me authority. 
Will the pod to open? Oh, wow. So if I roll a one, is Shadowheart just fucked? Because I could do that. Okay. Woo! Wait, am I channeling? I am not channeling Tina. Tina actually might be smarter than I'm playing this person. Biomechanical brain of the console, process your command and yield to it. I could take over this whole ship. I've gone from completely naive to megalomaniac, but I could apparently take over this whole ship if I can command that console. New friend! All right, Lazel, what do you think? Loot? Thank you, Urban Bohemian. That was the most fun to write of all things. Mine lurches into her thoughts or gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. You say ship, I taste... Yeah, we could turn this ship into a tour bus. Go all around Faerun, Avernus, Astral Plane. This could be the biggest worldwide tour ever. Bigger than Michael Jackson. I'm saying it right now. Dangerous company is what you need in a fight. Got a problem with Gith Yankee? Do you feel that just... <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I don't care what you said. Did you see what we just did? Did you see this? This means we connect. We would make a great band. Let me come with you and get off the ship and go buy instruments and then build our band. Yes! No, nobody look. I just found a d20. Yeah, right out of the pod with some fantasy racism. Not cool with that. That's nothing. Trust me. Oh, yeah. So when telling someone to trust you right when you meet them. Yeah. All right, is everybody feeling good? No, we're not. Where's that shower? There it is. It's time for another tentacle shower. Everybody get in. There we go. Is this where I'm going? No, this is the wrong place. They let you get on the ship, but they didn't... And you didn't have to check that artifact. It must be frequently flyer. Yeah, they already got the... Uh, Real ID, what are they calling it? Uh, uh, there we go. Okay, I can do this. <sighs> there. Okay, we've got another shower in here, but I don't think we need it yet. There's some fire. No one step in the fire. See, I'm learning. We're nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Okay. Who put you in charge? I trust my own judgment. We got you out of the, the coffin. Yeah, what she said. I don't know what that meant. But it sounded really confident. And I'm not. So, look at us. That's a band cover right there. Little brain... Three Mighty Women. This could be the back of the album cover. What's up? So are the imps also attacking the tiefling? That's not a tiefling. That's a devil because he's got wings. Never mind. I know these things. I've read books. Oh, it's another ad break. See, I don't know why, but they don't mention this. They don't tell you about the second ad break. Tipper Gore is totally going to slap a warning label on this album. Uh. Now you got me singing censor shit in my head. The Ramones wrote an excellent song dedicated to Tipper Gore. 
I'm gonna sit for a moment as it is an ad break. They don't warn you for the second one. I don't know why. They warned me for the first one. How are you? If anybody wants has an idea for the name of our first album, let me know. When I was doing research on all bard bands um, or all bard groups, I found a guy doing um, five or six parts of an acapella as an all bard band in trying to seduce a uh, ancient red dragon. And uh, also worth finding. It's very funny. Uh, I guess search for All Bard Party and you'll find it on YouTube. Um, yeah. Are we done? Looks like we're done. Okay. So I really, really want to talk to these big scary guys because I figured they'll know a little bit about what's going on. But I think my new friends are saying it might not be a good idea. I think I'm going to play my loot for them. Shadowheart, check me out. Yeah. That's right. Inspiration. That's what I do. Pew! Oh. Loot. Build these intruders open. Avernus is something. I just it it changed channels too fast. Here goes us. That was exciting. Can you hit that? Yes, you can. Get it, Lazel. Mean old shadow heart. Okay, kill it, shadow heart. Do something. Okay, good. Good. You can't even loot meat or anything. Can you loot that? Nope. Shadow heart, I'm starting to s not. I I'm not seeing your your usefulness to the band. I mean, I guess you do need a loot player. Here Goes Us is a great album title. That's right. You're absolutely right. I need to write that one down. Here Goes Us. I'll write that one down. Mind Blast. That looked like it hurt. Ranged attack on us. Us is fine. Us is tough. Us. Us has more hit points than all of us put together. Wow. I did not know us was that tough. Hey, Lazelle. Hey, check it out. That's right. Inspired, aren't you? I don't need another crossbow, but Dad always told me to loot everything. I thought it was a joke, because I never thought I'd actually be in an adventure. But apparently he was right. Our turn. Okay, us, I think you need to go see what these guys are doing. Yeah. Report back. That doesn't look like something I should hit with a sword. I don't think Lazelle would do that if I'm actually role playing here. Does Lazelle not have 
range? She does. Short bow. Pew! There you go. Four points of damage. Be proud. Okay. Shadowheart, do something. Well, you've got wep. You've got. You got magic. Yeah. Why? Are, why are you even pretending to have a weapon? You just got magic. Just magic it up. Magic it all up in there. Okay. These two guys are gonna keep fighting. I really want to know what these guys are fighting about, but it seems like a bad idea to talk to them. The other corpses in the sticks! Hey guys, what's going on? What's up? Nope, can't talk to you. I will attack Commander Zalek. Yeah! <laughs> Three points of damage! Woo! That's right, us. You kick, kick some ass. I'll pick up some weapons. Shadowheart knows to loot that mind flare. Well, one of these people should be dashing. But, you know. It's like... But then we won't loot everything. Where is dash? There it is. Dash! Pew! Yes, dash. Keep running. There we go. Uh-oh, cutscene. Hurry before they strike! I am hurrying. I used dash. Didn't you see? Wait, okay. Tell, tell me this big, powerful devil does not have any loot. I think that's highly unlikely. Unless the Mind Flayer killed them and then took their loot. I don't know. Gamer Gramp is raiding with a party of 32. Hello, Gamer Gramp. Welcome. I am, uh... My name is Mer Lafferty. I usually do podcasts, but today I am doing a Baldur's Gate stream where I am building a band. If you're familiar with Baldur's Gate, uh, you know that we early on in the game you meet up with a buddy who can help you change your class. And I've decided that everyone's going to become a bard, and we're going to see how that goes. We've not gotten to Withers yet, so now it's just the usual first part of the... Uh, game but i'm glad you're here welcome thank you for rating gamer gramp what you been up to okay we got us who is our our little monster here i'm gonna see how how much damage us can do to this guy Come on, us. Aw, oh, miss. Mm, I believed in you. It did not even get an attack of opportunity. How badass is this little guy? Assassin's Creed, you've never played it before. Wow. How are you enjoying it? Happy Wednesday, Gussie Marie. Welcome. Oh, also, I've played a lot of Baldur's Gate, but on Steam Deck and PS5, and this is on my PC, and the UI is all new to me, so I'm still a little clumsy. But really, the most important thing is I'm talking to Lazel and Shadowheart and stuff about the, the band, uh, the instruments they're going to play once we're off this thing and form our band. Come on, Shadowheart. I think I have most about Baldur's Gate is organizing inventory. Black Flag is really good. Cool. 
It's been like an hour so far shuffling around potions and arrows and scrolls. I saw... Um... I think it was a, a Tumblr meme or something about, or maybe Twitter, about someone saying they they go up to somebody in a game and the person's like, okay, we're gonna give you something very rare, and the game and the PC's like, okay, never use this. No, you can use it, but it's just you're not gonna come across many of. Okay, never use it. Put it in my pocket and forget about it. Got it. And I'm like, yep, that's me. That's absolutely the way I play. Give me. Magic potions beyond healing spells. Astarian is pretty much weighed down by all of his magic uh, arrows. I wait for the right time to use them, and I don't haven't found it yet. Can I run away? Nope. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, you missed. You know what? You know, except for like touching dangerous things that explode, my character's not seeing. You know, the downside to adventuring. This is pretty easy. Skyrim, too many potions. Always too many. Oh, yeah. When I realized I was carrying over 100 pounds of herbs and flowers and shit for making Skyrim potions, I just decided I was not an alchemist. Yeah. I'm gonna hit this guy again. Yeah. Oh, man. Trying so hard. We believe in you, us. That damn game. My my favorite memory, my favorite recent memory of Skyrim is um, being attacked by a dragon, and I was just you know on top of a hill, near no near nothing I could run to. And I had a bag of flour on me. And so I ate that raw bag of flour to gain back my hit points to kill the dragon. To stay alive long enough to kill the dragon. The flour didn't kill the dragon. That would be weird. Unlike eating a bag of raw flour in order to regain hit points. That wasn't weird. Maybe I used it to staunch the blood flow. I don't know. But I ate a bag of flour and killed a dragon. And that was my weirdest Skyrim experience. All right, kill all the imps, all of them. <sighs> Shadowheart, I believed so much more of you. Recently taking the dive in Starfield, same situation. Too much stuff, not enough inventory space. I made the mistake of getting Starfield and Baldur's Gate at the same time. And now Starfield is sitting on the coffee table waiting. Just waiting. And the Xbox and the PS5 are hooked up to the same TV, so it's not like I can let somebody else in the family play Baldur's Gate while I play Starfield. So. I ate a bag of flour and killed a dragon. A song title or a... I mean, maybe. Maybe a folk song. Or Tom Waits. That's a Tom Waits song. Oh, this does not look good. Do we run out of time? I bet we ran out of time, didn't we? I don't know. Hold on to the tentacle! Hold on tight! Kids Are Asleep could make that a reality. I hear that Eric is going to start doing his improv again. So did we survive? Because I totally forgot that was a timed scene. And I was just, like running around with hitting people and stuff. Yeah, that's what worries me, Numbers Ninja. I've not seen that cutscene. But I don't think I dawdled too much, did I? I don't know. We'll see. After I hit the ground, I'm probably going to uh, raid Kids Are Asleep. Because mainly I wanted to get my character done and my uh, and off the Nautiloid. Or we could all die. I don't know. We'll see. I know you. You're mean. Oh, I 
know those two people. She was falling in a chasm last time I saw her. Oh, yeah. I know that guy. He's in that band. That, you know, that band. You know the one I'm talking about. That band. Uh, no, Eric is tomorrow. If the, the, by their usual schedule, Eric is tomorrow night. Eric is, um, Mass Effect tomorrow night. I believe Valerie is Tears of the Kingdom on Wednesdays. Yep, Fallen Out. We're Fallen. Composing a little song about falling in my, in my head. Oh, survived. That was neat. Ow. I miss the wild alchemy of the earlier Elder Scrolls games. Potion that lets you leap miles for one second. And a point of feather... Potion of feather fall that lasts a couple of minutes. Also known as that potion, where did I go just now? <laughs> Alright, I survived! No, I can't, I can't plagiarize Tom Petty. As I wake the tadpole squirms in my skull. It tells me there's one more guy to find for my band. And he's up the hill. Check myself for injuries. Worry about where I am? Of course not. I had a miracle happen to me. What rhymes with miracle? I'll just, I'll find out something. Tadpole is a death sentence and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Oh yeah. And we're saving. Recommend I've got some falling to do by Lemon Demon. Thank you, Numbers Ninja. All right. Tentacle. I don't get it. T tentacle Miracle. Okay, Tentacle Miracle. Yeah, maybe. Why, why I didn't think it. See, I'm not good at rhyming, wordplay, puns. It, it just doesn't come to my mind. It's not just, I, it's not just that I hate them. It's like they don't occur to me. Tadpole's a death sentence for, sing for single. Tadpole's a death sentence. Yes. I like it. Uh-oh. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get off, and we're going to raid the kids are asleep, who's probably playing Tears of the Kingdom. Um, thank you guys for coming in. Thank you for hanging out with me on my completely unplanned stream. I've been wanting to do this. I've been wanting to do the stream for a while and only came up with my concept a couple of days ago. So, been working to uh, with Numbers Ninja for a good overlay. Uh, still using the festive one for now, but um, yeah, I'll figure out a schedule soon. I may be playing whenever, you know, I it, it occurs to me during the holiday, oh, the holiday week. We'll see. But um, thank you guys very much. Again, my name is Mer Lafferty. I typically stream my, uh, or yeah, stream my podcasts. But tonight I'm just doing Baldur's Gate because it's fun. Um, right. Set up the raid. The kids are asleep. The raid has been created. Excellent. Well, um, yeah, the, the raid call is hashtag merraid. And I'll be back some other time. Follow if you want to see the next time I get on and continue to build my band because I need withers before any of this starts. So, see ya, Shauna. Thanks for dropping in. Thank you for dropping in and raiding Gamergram. And, uh, I missed Elder James's song. Just a bag of flour. Flour was all I had, and it made me kind of sad because it tasted really bad. I would sing that, except I'm very bad, but it works. Thank you, everybody. Good night.